Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Victoria 2 as Brazil. Let's continue off for last month's off. So, I think, like, our industry is going pretty well. I mean, we're 13th place overall. I mean, we're never... I'm not going to say never. I'm not, I'm not going to say we're never going to be in, like, the top three. I think Brazil has that potential. But being right now in the top 12, even though we just built our first factory, like, two years ago, I think that's pretty good. I think that's pretty impressive for us. We're still not a secondary power. I, I, that's, I think that mostly just comes down to the fact that our prestige... It doesn't exist. We we're not a prestigious country. We have a, we have an okay military. We're twentieth place there. We have a decent industry. We're twelfth place. Again, let's free press. I do want free press so we can get our immigration uh, attraction upgrade. So I'm happy with that. But like you're in seventieth place, seventy fifth, twenty sixth, hundred thirtieth, hundred ninety fourth. I mean, if you compare our military to literally every one of our neighbors, we're doing pretty well for ourselves. Twentieth place. It's pretty good. Our main adversary, which I think is Argentina, it, right now they're in 70th uh, for their military, which is pretty much bad. Think of, like, Chile. They're technically beating us in total score, but that's almost entirely due to their prestige. 27 prestige is pretty good. That's a very nice number for them. But their industry, they have three points. Their military score, it's a, it's a six. It's, it, it's terrible. It's garbage. We've got it all, except for prestige. We don't have the prestige. But at some point, we will. For prestige, you will get eventually. It, it's just a waiting game. Bottling work. What do we actually need for this? Cement and steel. We can, oh, we can now build machine parts, though. That is very, very, very important. Being able to have a natural, domestic source of machine parts means that we'll never be cut off from the international markets in the off chance that something really bad happens. We also need cement. We'll get you to three up to 35. Should be fine. It does mean we got to put the the reactionaries back into power, just so that I can start putting uh, machine part factories in states that need them. You're you have six percent here, okay? So machine part factories they need coal and they need steel. We don't have steel invented yet, but okay, we need we have two factories here that are going to need steel. So once we get ourselves hot blast process that will unlock steel automatically. We can then produce steel, which is nice. And then that will also allow us to build every type of military factory. So I'm thinking maybe what we might want to do is just have like one state somewhere, like a decently populated state that's just focused. What like Sao Paulo? I don't think we have a single factory in Sao Paulo yet. Uh, again, it's T. Sao Paulo is this one down here. I'm pretty sure you don't have a single factory yet. So what I think we might want to do here is just have Sao Paulo be like our military heartland. Where, you know, we'll have tank factories eventually, uh, you know, rifles, artillery, small arms, a steel. Everything that's going to be used to make guns will be in Sao Paulo. Just so we can try to get all of the research bonuses, or not the research bonuses, all of the industry bonuses at the same time the one in one, in one state. I think that makes perfect sense. Chemistry gives us fertilizer. Eventually get us up to medicine, which actually is going to be very important. Having a higher supply limit in somewhere like Brazil that has a, a lot of rainforest would be nice. Because we can't really move our army anywhere. Because right now it is 32,000 strong. If we just go over to supply limit. Like we can walk along the coast. But anything beside that, just forget about it. You're absolutely never going to be able to march a unit through there at all, ever. We are a thousand pounds. I mean, it's looking pretty good. Again, most of that money is going to disappear immediately once we are uh, finished with you, which just leaves things to be done on the 17th. Also, what I just realized, actually, probably should get idealism first. Just for that research bonus. Actually, no, that, that exactly is what we need before we get our uh, steel factory. In fact, we should have actually gotten this about nine years ago. Is that another constitutional crisis? Look, okay. I understand that you're a little bit mad. Your militancy is going up just a little bit, but like, just don't, just stop being so mad. Also, free trade, of course, always 100%. No matter what, the people love free trade. I don't know, I wonder what the actual bug in Victoria 2 is that causes everyone to always want free trade 100% of the time. Okay, so we now have our railroad upgrade, which means we'll upgrade all the railroads in here and then all our railroads anywhere that's right now making factories 
or the has factory should get railroads first and then after that we'll just kind of expand everywhere else and it's going to basically bankrupt us but that is what it is I mean, it's not bankrupting it up bankrupting us we'll, we'll eventually make more money off of this like for the areas down here like deep in the rainforest what level do you need you're negative, so you actually need level 4 railroad to even build anything over here. 300 pounds. Do consciousness. You know what? I want the militancy. I want the militancy so I can pass reforms. Also, is there really already another election? Didn't we just have an election? How many... How often do we have elections in this country? I feel like we just had one. <laughs> like, like, five minutes ago. Well, okay. Again, it's just going to be another... Is uh... No, we don't want peace. Peace is for nerds. But actually, nobody supports jingoism here. Pacifism. We don't want people gaining pacifism. Pacifism is bad. It's really bad for your military score. We do not want it. What's in this state right now? We have a... I mean, die factory. We really can't do anything to improve you. But if I was to build like a luxury cl uh, clothes factory, never mind, I cannot. But if I was to build a regular clothes factory that requires textile mills, this will work well for this. Eventually, we will get our steel mill after idealism is finished. Can't do anything here. And I also can't really do anything here right now either. So, Rio de Janeiro. I mean, I guess we could build a winery. Because it also needs glass. I think that works out just fine for us. We have 100,000 pounds, which is nice. We could maybe build, like, naval bases around the country. It'll give us more colonial points. But, I mean, are we going to get colonies? I, 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 could, I couldn't tell you. I honestly couldn't tell you whether or not we're actually going to have factories. Also, you need railroads. Which needs a stupid amount of steel. But everybody on Earth wants steel. I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna put this up to straight up to twelve thousand or twelve hundred. Just slowly buy whatever there's steel on the market. I want to be able to buy it immediately. Because right now we're still not in any sphere of influence. Britain is up to neutral. They're almost up to cordial right now. I think Prussia needs Saxony to reform the North German Federation. Two sissies have gotten themselves into a great power list. Congratulations to them. We'll see if two sissies can maybe unify Italy. Not impossible. Then aside from that, nothing too surprising going on. If anything, I'm kind of surprised by how few countries the United States has in their seat of influence right now. You would have expected it to be like a little bit more. Okay, we're going to put you to the next province. It's time for us to start building up our second army. Go five infantry right away. And are you also needing steel? Yes. There, there's just no steel anywhere on Earth right now, which is very, very, very sad. And again, I'll, I'll make sure to change Bolivia's name for the next stream. The Argentine Confederation. Unrest is stirring against the Rosa dictatorship in Argentina. Well, the Rosa demanding constitution and transition to democratic rule. Uh, the governor has appointed the Bra has approached the Brazilian government to ask to support the uprising should uh, Rosa refuse the liberal demands. So they want to, um, this would help, this help, we would, uh, be able to install a democratic government in Argentina, not to support. Argentina will hate us. The help we would give would be to install a democratic government in Argentina, not to support a free of you but I don't want to f I, I think I want a I don't I don't know actually you know what oh but I want you know what? I want Milton C to go up we won't support you I think I think I want you you're actually, you're allied with Chile? Oh no, you're at war with Argentina right now. You're gonna annex you. You want military access? Sure. You would not form an alliance. I mean, I want you to be independent. 
I would like to fight... Hmm. I genuinely don't... I might, I can't intervene at all. Which is very sad. I can give you war subs. You know what? I'm going to give you war subsidies. It's not too much money. How many units do you actually have? You have 14 against one right now for Argentina. Peru has four divisions, but do you like... They they do like uh, Bolivia, so they'll probably get military access through them. How do you have so many units? I guess because he mobilized. Argentina starting to mobilize as well, but they might end up losing Buenos Aires or something like really quickly, which is a major population center for them. And they lose that population center, they won't be able to mobilize. So we'll, we'll kind of have to wait and see kind of like what's going to go. Why do we lose a prestige? Where did my single prestige point go? Excuse game. Excuse me. Where, where did my prestige go? I had a prestige point. Just moments ago. Also, nobody can afford to, to get their needs. You know, let's cut tears in half. Boom. I mean, we're making... You know what? Cut tears even more. As long as we're making money just a little bit, I'm okay with it. There we go. We'll cut down tariffs. I mean, we're making slightly less money, but it's not a big, big deal. Because it actually will make our factories more pr uh, profitable because they're not going to pay as much import fees on, like, coal. Which is very important. Aside from that, I mean, everybody else is looking pretty good. The industry, we're in top 10. We're almost... They have formed Argentina. They are a liberal Argentina now, so I think we've... Kind of... I mean, it's, they don't hate us. I, I don't like there being a Argentina anymore. I, I prefer when it was two separate states. Taiping Rebellion, we don't care about that so much. Anarcho-Liberals, probably the worst ideology in Victoria, too. Like, I would say if the Anarcho-Liberals end up, like, cooing the government, that is almost like a game over. <laughs> Just because your options are so limited. Um, okay. Paraguay, Paraguay, Paraguay. What do we do about you? Because, again, I would like to... I mean, acquire states... How do you, how do you, they don't have that much population. They have six divisions in total. They're allied to Chile and Peru. You're allied. The thing is, like, Bolivia is actually just allied to us. Argentina is allied to the Peruvians. Their capital is actually over in Aparna. Their, their capital is actually not in Buenos Aires anymore. Very, very, very interesting. Okay. But you have no industry. You have no industry. You have no industry. You have two points. Chile has five. But again, what Chile really is riding on is their prestige points. Oh, but they're actually no longer a secondary power. Which should mean, I think, if you look at ranking. I am the highest ranked South American power. I'm actually this, the highest ranking Latin American power, which I'm very happy with. The other people, of course, you know, they're European possessions. They don't, they don't count. They, they don't count for this math, okay? We're very... Like, we're only one place away. Who is in 16th place right now? Portugal. Okay. We got Saxony, Bavaria. The thing about Saxony, Bavaria is that they'll get eventually ant uh, integrated into Germany. That actually will push us up two ranks automatically. Portugal, they have 60 points. So they're six points ahead of us. Would anything happen in Portugal that would result in them losing power? I, not that I can really think of right now. I'm trying to think if I'm thinking if there's anything that might happen. Education efficiency, another national focus would not be bad. I would like it. But I would also like to at least have like steel mill. So let's get that research. That'll be done. Uh, that actually will be done. Okay, a little bit, a little bit, about one year from now, okay. But still, I mean, 8.48 is okay. You actually now have too many craftsmen in Baja, so we'll remove you here. Who needs craftsmen? You do, okay. Let's encourage craftsmen down in this state down here. Fantastic. Does that mean that your factories are full? They're both full. Okay. Upgrade every single factory you possibly can right now. Again, we are conservatives. We can't upgrade. We can't build factories, but we can't upgrade them. 
You want to build some factories. Thing with Sao Paulo is Sao Paulo is supposed to be my, my military state, so I'm not going to do that. I'll build a glass factory here. Or will I? No, where, where is Graupara? How? What's the population there? 60,000. I mean, I'll I'll build it, but I, I can promise it's never going to get a lot. It's never going to be very big. Oh, yeah, there's a focus over here. We can build something. 5,000 pounds. Immigration. Of, okay. Recently built city. Population growth. Immigrated traction. That's going to be for a singular year. But I will still take it. Absolutely. And it's only 5,000 pounds. I have 5,000 pounds to spare. National stockpile purchase. I'm assuming we're just buying up. Okay, yeah, let's go up to Centered Press. We can get free press soon. But again, I want I want that 100% immigration attraction. Is that... Actually, let me just check. Is that permanent? No, it's only for one year. So... Would it be better to use that later or earlier? I actually, I actually don't know. Because using it later would mean that there's just more people. So... No, probably earlier, right? I think earlier would make sense. Yeah, and you are... We can't get this until like 1900, so we got quite a ways away from you. Have invented army decision making and we're at war. That'll... 10, ten prestige? Excuse me. We're actually up to 3 now. 10, fr oh, ten whole prestige is actually incredible. So we need army decision making and we need to be at war. Which in 18, we could get it right now. And then just declare war on somebody and just win. Like just invade Uruguay to have a good time. Like if we attack and someone who's just only allied with one country like Bolivia or Uruguay. I mean, you guys like us too much for us to actually invade right away, but. Flyer state, free people. Who can we actually free? Is it just. I mean, I'm assuming it's Argentina. I mean, again, I wouldn't mind taking a state. I mean, this state right down here is uh, Cotton. Which wouldn't be terrible for us. And by terrible, I mean it'd be very nice. Okay, there's free press. And again, the more um, political reforms we have, the more social reforms, that also improve uh, immigration attraction. So right now, 1,500. We're actually getting just as many... Um, just as many as the United States is very, very nice for us. The thing with the U.S., though, is that they're very industrialized. And they got a lot of prestige. So we'll, uh... Anybody, are we in anybody's sphere of influence? We're, we might be in the British very, very soon. They're already friendly. 6.5 points. I'm not happy with it. Okay, basic industry next. Can't build anything, so we're just going to immediately go over to... The reactionaries, fantastic. And then following that up, factories, factories, factories. We need steel. I need steel in here. Get a steel mill. And then in, again, our th next most populated province. Sao Paulo. That's where we're going to start producing our uh, military stuff. So we're going to build a steel mill down here as well. Fantastic, fantastic. And then upgrade anything that can be upgraded. Guys still need iron. You need cement. I could I could just buy more iron and cement. Put this up to 500. Put cement up to uh, 770 seems okay. Who actually makes iron? I don't think we do. No, we actually have no iron in the entire country whatsoever. There's a lot of it in Europe. There's a decent amount of it in Russia, but that, that's really about it. Iron is actually mostly a European uh, resource right now. Another constitutional crisis. Fantastic. How many? This is like our third in four years or something like that. It's absurd. Okay, there's a small arms factory. The thing is, actually, you're mostly coffee. Not I don't I don't believe any factories in the entire game use coffee. Used by cannery machine part. So this actually it won't it won't show us anything we don't have researched. Oh, so it's not coffee. No, it is coffee. 
RGOs. I don't believe any factory uses coffee. I'm trying to think of all the factories that exist in Victoria 2. They, they only produce this stuff that's on the screen now. No, I'm, pre I'm pretty sure there's no factories that use coffee. So... We we're safe building up... I mean, you also need ammunition. We don't have quite, quite yet. But I'm just going to build the factories now. Even if they will not be fully stocked with uh, workers, I'm still kind of okay with that. We are a little poor. Where does my prestige... How do I have no prestige? Where does my prestige keep going? Is it... No, I know where it's going. It's a fucking constitutional crisis, isn't it? Almost certainly it's a constitutional crisis that keeps affecting us. I just want my prestige. Like, legitimately, is that is that so much to ask? Just, just, like, just a handful of crumb of prestige, please? Are you a, you're a crusader? We want to replace you with a, maybe a Hussara at some point. Or is it the Dragoon we replace you with? 5-4, maneuver 3. Maneuver 4 is pretty good. So maybe... maybe uh, I think right now what we're, what we're doing is okay. Whatever cavalry you have is probably fine. You guys need beverages. I will just buy up a small stockpile. Probably not too much. 11 probably should be okay. Now there's another goddamn election. We're in 100 pl place for prestige because I'm just not allowed to have any. It, it's just it's just a fact of life. Rin has almost 1,000 points already. They they're almost at a thousand score. I'm stuck over here with 62, like a freaking jump. I got nothing. I got absolutely freaking nothing. How embarrassing for us. Okay, more craftsmen getting stuff done here. Secularization sounds fine. You actually build very fast. Steel mill takes forever. And what are the chances on the other stuff? Ammunition, 2%. Okay, it's just a flat 2%. I can't really do anything to make those research a little bit faster for us. We actually have one, we have one dock here in the entire country. How expensive are they? Two, okay, 2700 that's actually pretty cheap. I am willing to build them in every single one of my coastal states. Again, let's give us a little bit of colonial power, just in case maybe at some point we can potentially like colonize one state in Africa. You know, just on the off chance that maybe we could like attack for uh, warrior or something like that. I mean, we could right now. Just to just to put our foot in the door. Yeah, let's go medicine next. Just like I mean, they give you. There's so many bonuses here to getting medicine. You'd be a fool not to. Okay, next up, movements. They want voter rights. They want non-secret ballots. Congratulations, you can have that. We are losing money. We're really not by that much. I'm actually going to crank up education, spending the maximum. And if we ever need to, we can just increase tariffs. Because right now we're still not in anybody's sphere of influence. But if for whatever reason the United Kingdom has decided to stop putting points into the country, I'm not too sure why. And I'm not upset that they're not. Because again, I don't want to be in the sphere. It's usually bad for you. I'm just gonna, I think my mind that's not good enough for Britain. Potentially. What I do think for right now is going to be a good time for us to end this episode. So thank you everyone for watching. I'm going to say, if you enjoyed, put a thumbs up. Not enjoy, put a thumbs down. You want to subscribe and goodbye.